Aloha from Maui. So a few weeks ago, maybe months ago, we did a sweet potato pie recipe. You can check out that episode. It was a really fun one. But since then, I've been making it a totally different kind of way. And so many of you have asked me for, for this recipe because I've been posting pictures of it on Instagram. And so I'm going to show you my newest sweet potato pie. Okay, so the first time I did it, it was like, ooh, it's like something from the South that I didn't grow up with. And now I'm doing it island style. So this is going to be a sweet potato haupia pie. Haupia is a coconut pudding. And I think I might even throw some bananas in it because we harvested a bunch of bananas yesterday. If you guys did not watch last week's episode, please watch it. It was so much fun. We harvested bananas and we harvested macadamia nuts. Okay, so this is all on the last episode and it was so much fun. So I'm gonna pop them in the oven right now at 320. <laughs> a microwave? That's a microwave. That's the oven. I have to take notes on this because I, my ideas on this are getting so crazy. But if you watch the last episode, you'll already understand the basic concept, but it's going to be a little different. We are going to do the same thing of steaming these potatoes, of adding coconut oil, vanilla, except this time we're going to use a vanilla bean from Tahiti, which I didn't have last time. We're going to add eggs, coconut milk, and some fresh honey. For the crust, we're going to stick with Justin's idea of that shortbread cookie crust with macadamia nuts. But in this one, we're using fresh macadamia nuts that we harvested and roasted. Shit! We have to check the macadamia nuts. They're fine. And roasted ourselves. Wow. <laughs> we're going to also add chocolate chips to the crust. That's a new addition, some dark chocolate, because that's just always yummy. But what's exceptionally different about this pie isn't just those little tweaks and it isn't just the purple, you know, Hawaiian or I should say local sweet potatoes, but it's going to be the topping, the topping of haupia. And haupia is made out of coconut milk. It's a coconut pudding that we're going to make using cornstarch and honey and coconut milk. And the coconut milk we're using today is gonna to come from cans. However, if you wanna see how we make fresh coconut milk, you can watch the Pulse on Crew episode because that shows how to make it by hand. But we're gonna put that on in layers. And I'm even thinking of sneaking in a layer of banana in between all that, just because we harvested a beautiful bunch of bananas the other day. So that's the plan. Same, same, but very different. Let's go. This is our gold that we dug up yesterday. And it makes me so stoked because I didn't even know if there would be sweet potatoes there. I just remembered there was a plant at one time. Little did I know there were three different varieties that just took off. They're still there. It was just so fun. And we barely dug because we had Buddy there. So we were kind of limited, but we got all these potatoes. I gave them such a good scrub already. But now I'm gonna take it another step. I'm gonna peel them. I'm gonna peel these. Usually I cook and then I peel. Sweet potato in Hawaiian is called uala. It's something that the Polynesian voyagers brought over when they discovered and settled in Hawaii. So this was here for a very long time. It just grows so well here. So many different varieties. You know, that last um, sweet potato pie recipe I made, they're orange and they're beautiful, and I was going for that pumpkin pie or cinnamon and ginger in there. But now I'm really embracing, because why wouldn't we, right? Local potatoes. And they're such a beautiful purple color. Okay, so I peeled the potatoes, I cut them up. I think these are all good usable parts. We'll find out. Cool. Okay, these should be, oh yeah, roasty and toasty. I'm just gonna crank this up. Gosh, what, what did we bake it at? I need to go walk back and watch that episode. I'm gonna say 400. We baked it at the beach last time, remember, honey? Yeah. On the Traeger grill. So I wanted to roast these on the open fire, but instead we'll put them in the oven. Toasty's good. <laughs> Let's make this crust. 
So I just creamed together the two sticks of butter, half cup of sugar. One day I would like to do this uh, with coconut oil and honey, but I haven't had the guts to do that with the crust yet because I just don't know if that's going to work. So if you want to try it, and let me know. Now I'm going to add two cups of flour. I always just put way too much flour at one time and make a mess. I'm going to add salt. I don't think I added salt yet. I'm going to add some Hawaiian salt to this shortbread. I wanted to add these in whole, just said they're way too big. So I'm going to add in some whole to prove to him. And then he said chop some, so we're going to chop some. That's a lot of magnets. They look pretty big in there. They do. I just like to do things that seem to break the rules. Some dark chocolate. We're just really getting crazy. That's a lot. Wow. We're really spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hope this comes out good. I think it will. It would make one heck of a cookie, that's for sure. I was just that same thing. Right? <laughs> we should switch this whole episode and make cookies instead. But no, we're not aborting this mission. It's going to come out great. We're now going to press that into two pie pans because it's way too much, I believe, for just one. Whose idea was it to keep those nuts whole? I think it's great. We're just going to use our fingers and we're going to press. <laughs> okay. We're going to do one in here. Give us some extra space. This pan, I'm certain we can fit all the crazy layers I have in mine. Okay, so. The chocolate is melting because my mac nuts were hot. I don't think about that. You know what? It's, it looks like a marbled, beautiful work of art. My mom always said a real artist takes her mistakes and turns them into masterpieces. Now is a good time to take a break. Thank you for joining us, buddy. Potatoes are done. Let's check them out. Gosh, they smell like flowers. Homegrown. So sometimes you just gotta poke them to make sure they're really done. Oh yeah, they're done. This is a lot of potatoes. What, how should I do this? Should I mash them? I think I'm gonna blend them. I'm gonna mash some, blend some. How you doing, baby? Buddy just started eating solid foods, which is very exciting for us. And so sweet potatoes are like a great food to give to your baby, so we'll save some for him. To this, I'm going to add half cup coconut oil, half cup coconut milk, two eggs, three quarters cup of honey, and see if we can make it nice and smooth. That's probably enough honey. I said three quarter cups of honey, but I don't know. I'm going to make it a little less sweet. Sometimes less is more. Now I'm going to blend. Please blend. Wow. Gorgeous. Remember the last episode we had to all take turns whisking it by hand? I think it might be cool to have some of it smooth and then some of it chunky so that it looks beautiful. I think it'll be fun to kind of do a little chop, 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 perhaps. Justin said, you know, I'd mash it and I said I'd blend it. Justin said I'd chop the nuts and I said I'd keep them whole. And this is what a marriage is about. It's about compromise. It's about coming together. So that's what I call this. And I think this could be cool to have both mashed and creamy. So you get both the smooth and the chunky. So now we're gonna fill our pies and we're gonna throw them in the oven. In the last episode, I baked that pie crust first. <clears throat> Before I filled it, you don't need to do that. I've learned that since then. Look at this color. Wow, it's so beautiful. It's so crazy. Isn't it fascinating that there was no food coloring or anything artificial added to this? This is pure nature. I think it could be cool with the chunks in there because if you look carefully, you can see how there's darker bits of chunks and that could make it really pretty when you cut into it and it could also make it a cool texture. We're gonna get these babies in the oven. It's preheated to 400, I hope that's not too high. And 
let them cook for, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes, basically until this is nice and firm. And in the meantime, we're going to make our haupia. Buddy, buddy, look, check out this color. You were there when we dug these up from the ground. And look at how pretty it is. Is it, is it good? So I lied about, you know, next we're gonna make the halpia. We waited. We let these pies bake. They baked for 40 minutes, about 40 minutes. I actually turned it down after like, I don't know, half an hour. I turned it down from 400 to 350 just because I saw not so much this one, but this one, the crust was getting a little dark. So this looks, this looks lovely. Look, see how it just set, honey? It's like nice and firm. That's what I wanted to see. The color is just out of this world. Okay, now we're gonna make the halpia. Four cups of coconut milk in a pot. We're turning it on some heat. Now we're gonna add some honey. I'm gonna do like that, maybe a little more even. I want it to be sweet, but not, not too sweet. Might as well whisk it now and get that honey all incorporated. We are high up on the mountain of Haleakala right now. Not a lot of coconut trees around here. If we had coconut trees around here, I 100% would have made this coconut milk myself. But I've been kind of obsessed with trying to forage and get to the source of the ingredients if we can. So I'm going to do about, about half a cup of cornstarch. And the thing about cornstarch, this is very important, this part. Cornstarch is to thicken liquid. That's what we're using it for, at least right now. You don't ever want to just add it straight to your hot liquid. What you want to do always is... Did you just put water in there? I just put water in there, but it could probably be any liquid, but you want to add a room temperature or cold liquid, not hot, and you want to use your finger. Really, it's the best tool for this. And I'm breaking up every single cornstarch lump. Had I not done this and I just added it straight to that pot and let it get hot, you would have so many lumps that you would never be able to get rid of and it would just, it would be ruined. Now we are safe to add this in. But you also, you want to whisk. You want to whisk as it heats. It's going to thicken. But yeah, we want to let it, we want to bring this to, to a boil. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Salt's always great to bring out the sweetness. And it's getting very thick. But we want it thicker. Okay, so this is good. This is obviously boiling. I'm gonna take it off the heat. Beautiful, smooth, white and creamy. I'm going to add some vanilla. So this is Tahitian vanilla. Pies are slightly cool. I wanted to do something totally different, might be really weird, but since we harvested that bunch of bananas yesterday, on one of these pies, I'm just going to put a layer of banana, which normally I wouldn't do, but it's all part of the harvest. And if it grows together, it goes together. All right, so now we're gonna pour this hot halpia right over our pie. Bye bye bananas, sleep tight. And this one. Now we're gonna top it with some extra chopped roasted, whoop, <laughs> sprinkle it evenly. Try not to just drop it all in the center like I just did. And that's, that's it. Now the next step is we're gonna put these both in the fridge. We're gonna hope and pray that they chill and firm up and when we take them out, that they'll be perfect. Okay, so I feel like Justin really wants these pies to be ready so we can cut them open and finish this episode because he wants to go hunting, but they're not ready. So I'm not gonna cut them. I wanna just show you though. See, this one's ready. See how there's no jiggle on that halpia? That halpia is set. But this one, which I'm really excited to cut open because it has the banana layer in it. See that jiggle? That is not ready. So sorry, honey. You can go hunting if you want.
Well, your daddy didn't get anything hunting, and I think I know why. Hi, buddy. Hi, Dad. You still got your face paint on, bro. Ready for the mom and a two? Look, mama. Ooh. Okay, so to tell you the absolute truth, um, we caught into the pie last night, but I wasn't totally stoked on the consistency last night, and I really felt like it should have sat and held up a little longer to get a little firmer. But the good news is that we can do it this morning with coffee and mom and Sean. Justin did get to go hunting again this morning. They were successful. You scared away everything yesterday. <laughs> Good thing they went this morning. See, we have a shortbread crust with chocolate chips, <clears throat> whole macadamia nut right there. The beautiful Okinawan sweet potato, such a nice purple with the chunks. I think that makes it beautiful. Mm -hmm, yeah. On this side, you can see the banana layer. The halpia, and that has the Tahitian vanilla in it. And then more macadamia nuts. So this one is like our standard pie. And this one does not have bananas. The bananas were a little unnecessary, but I had to throw them in since we harvested them together. But I do have one more pie. I think it might cheer him up. And that's the surprise. This is the buddy pie. This is just pure, pure sweet potatoes, pure bananas. Since he did help us harvest them both. Oh, oh does that make everything better? Does that make everything better? Ooh. Would you like to join us for some pie for mm. breakfast? Yeah. Mmm. Okay, let's eat everybody. You too, buddy boy. <laughs> Big old bite. Mm. Yum. You like it, Mom? We hope you enjoy these episodes. They're kind of, they're, you know what these episodes are. They're our way of, of just paying tribute to the beautiful ingredients. You know, whether it's what we hunt, whether it's what we gather, when we're able to then follow through and make them into delicious meals to feed our family. Um, it's our way of honoring this land and this community. So thank you. If you enjoy it, please do subscribe because we'll be doing this a lot more.